we're to begin in the district with another shooting tragedy. This time it's a three-year-old girl who was shot and killed in Southeast D.C. Happened Friday night and this morning. Investigators are still searching for the suspect or suspects responsible. The family of the young victim, Taya Settles, is speaking with Fox 5. This morning, David Kaplan spoke with the girl's godfather. Taya was such a beautiful young child. She had a great heart. Bernard Brown is convinced his goddaughter, three-year-old Taya Settles, could have been anything she wanted when she grew up. Doctor, the next lawyer, the next president, she missed all those good things. But there's unimaginable pain, he says, in knowing the girl who loved Mickey Mouse and dolls, who danced and loved and was curious, won't get to grow up. D.C. police say Settles was riding in the car on the 2300 block of Hartford Street, southeast, around 9 Friday night, when the car she was in was caught in what was believed to be a gunfight. She was hit. Her family rushed her to a nearby fire station. She was airlifted to a hospital where she later died. An individual such as myself, such as the family, would never think that something so tragic would happen to one of our loved ones and it hits home and it hits hard. Violence in the city right at this moment is a difficult thing. Uh, families are suffering. It hurts. Joseph Johnson's the ANC commissioner for this neighborhood and knows this family. He says the community feels this pain too, encouraging anyone with information to come forward or for the shooter or shooters to turn themselves in. Violence have no place in our community. Uh, I have a five-year-old daughter and is not something that I would want to happen to any child or any loved one, uh, and it is a tragedy. A small memorial started by Bernard Brown Saturday morning near the scene of the shooting, a reminder of this loss. Brown comforted by the fact that his goddaughter is in a better place as he and this family prays for justice. I think the family would want closure. You know, I think the family would feel at ease you know, knowing that something has been done about the situation. It's painful for that family. The David Kaplan reporting for us this Sunday morning. At a briefing on Friday night, D.C. police said that they were still coming through evidence, and it is not entirely clear how many shooters they were, stressing that they need help from the community on this case, and they're asking people to give them a call.